All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, the DoorDash Revolution. Smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like, share this video, and leave comments down below. We thank all the subscribers for subscribing to our channel. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you watching these videos, and I hope that you be able to get some value out of the content that we are bringing. Now I want to address uh, that I went on vacation, a little time off from the YouTube space, the uh, YouTube atmosphere, and the gig tubers uh, community. The negativity that's been going on being displayed, it just hadn't started this year. It's been going on for, for a few years. But people want to place the blame, place the fault on the DoorDash revolution. I can understand that. Now, this is what I got to get you guys to understand that I am a community activist, okay? And I put my heart and soul out for the community, okay? That disrupts some of the things that other content creators don't want the community to know, okay? They don't want to be called to action to the times that are changing and we in a different culture change we're going to change with what's going on with the paradigm that that's happening in these gig apps these gig technology apps and all of that i did content when i was in rideshare 2017 2018 i was doing rideshare and i did content i did about 15 to 20 episodes you know, I deleted most of them and I kept one. You know, and everything. And you already know about my automobile accidents and all of that. We're not going to make that a long story. We're getting ready to get off of that. But back to I'm a community activist. All right, that means that I'm about the community. About building the community. We had to do a demolition, a demolition phase for you to understand what's going on in the community. It was certain things that I did, I turned my head to, I didn't want to address. There are certain things I swept under the rug because I didn't want to, to address. As long as it didn't seem like it was a problem in the community, then I felt like I may not need to say it. But that was a big mistake, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to talk about them things as we continue on restructuring. I also told you guys that I do reviews. That's what I do. I do reviews. On um, DoorDash, these different gig apps. I do reviews on restaurants. I do reviews on delivery drivers. I do reviews on customers. I do reviews even on content creators. Now, I was told on my channel page Let's see can I pull it up because I did a interview with Reese yesterday people gonna be who they is you guys is proven what I'm actually saying there's discrimination against drivers drivers are being prejudiced towards other drivers this thing has went into a tailspin of chaos and confusion leaving people that want to begin to start doing this and then they come to YouTube channel and this is the first YouTube channel they see of all this chaos and corruption and confusion they not understanding what's going on we're sending the wrong message in our communities we are prejudiced we just have drivers only channels. We prejudice this against the customers. We are prejudiced against restaurant employees. We just all about drivers. We're sending the wrong message for the community. Because the marketplace is built up on more than just that. A lot of you drivers have what you call a side hustle mentality. I'm just about making my cash. I'm not worried about that mess, man. Make my money and boom. I, I don't care. I just care about my money. It's beginning to kill a market. 
Now, I want to read that comment right quick. Try to read it without. Let me turn it down because I don't want that being played. The channel itself. I just want to look at the comment. All right. Look like the comment. I shouldn't even be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. I, I I shouldn't even be surprised because I don't even see it now. Shouldn't be surprised because uh, I'm going to tell you what it was about. It said the character of a man is judged by the people who he associated with. Now, this is a person that passed in judgment on the DoorDash Revolution. So I'm going to say that to this person, then who the company that you are keeping with. So if you preaching a certain message and you preaching condemnation on me, then what make you think you can't adhere to the same words that you trying to make a patented law for me? And you exempt from that same thing. All right. First of all, I disagree with you. That's your opinion. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care about that negative opinion because you're wrong. Now, what defines the character of a man is his behavior, personality, and attitude. That defines the character of that man. All right. We got segregation going on among drivers. Okay, I just told you that I'm a community activist. We started with the black community trying to build that. We started with the local community trying to build that. And we're talking about a multi a multi a multicultural community that we want to also build with integrity for the people. All right, if I was that type of person you talking about because some of the dirty things that has been done among drivers against drivers are now being revealed. Now I'm the most hated guy on YouTube. I can live with that. I can live with that. I've been threatened about if you're continuing on rocking with hot facts, I'll make sure you lose all your subscribers. Yeah, I've had individuals come to me that way, this way, that way, and the other. I didn't have comments said that I thought we had silenced this man. Oh, he's just an old senile fool. He's an old senile bully. Right now, I'm getting ready to tell you right now. You proving the exact thing that I'm talking about. Your ignorance. Your selfishness, your greed. That you don't care nobody and about nobody but you and yours. You don't care about pruning the fruit tree so it can produce more fruit. All you care about is being greedy, being thirsty at the, at the expense of other drivers. Okay. Now I'm going to play. A small portion, a small segment of BZ on what he's saying is happening in our community and we're not paying attention to what's going on. I know people now that call themselves did a little research for one week, research for two weeks. All of that supposed to outrank the research that I'm doing for a whole year and still doing. I got data and all of that. No, you guys don't want to give the credit to the DoorDash revolution because he was the first one talked about the DoorDash multi-app and strategies. I just didn't get a chance to add the Top Dasher program into the, into the mix because it was like we was dealing with it through three-month cycles. All right. Then our next step was to deal with this top dasher thing. No, I wouldn't have came up with the pyramid ideal. 
you know, but I know that if you get in these different programs, okay, and we're going to do an episode about it, and Top, Top Dash is just a program, ladies and gentlemen, you know, um, in smaller markets, people want to sit still and call themselves cherry pick. That means pitch all the orders to everybody else. You just sit at that one spot and make your money. Okay. I don't know how you're going to continue on doing it. Because last year, it was more productive for drivers to do that. Because majority of the restaurants was closed. They was just beginning to open up. And everybody, everybody, 98% of everybody was ordering food. Now think about one thing. What is that percentage now? It's definitely not 98%. That number done reduced drastically. Which means that it has changed how we make our money now. You can't sit still now trying to make that money. And if you do, you taking 10, 12, and 14, and 16 hours just to sit all day and just accept and decline. Some people was doing it at their house. That's the reason why they didn't consider dash time important. You know, they only said, well, I'm only going to count the active time to move forward and all that. But let me go ahead and uh, stop rambling and get to what this man was saying because the video is getting longer and longer. I really don't want to do that. I want you guys to hear what. And I got to give a salute to BZ. You know, uh, and I'm going to let you hear parts of his video. And you need to go check out this video that he put out today that DoorDash 50% acceptance is required. Check his video out and listen to it for yourself. But I think this was a key point I wanted to share with you what he was saying that he has discovered and that, that that he now understands the change that has taken place. So you know, but Mr. Dean, thank you very much. Thank God. So today's time we're talking about DoorDash, Top Dashes. Top Dashes are the one any money on DoorDash. Believe it or not, Sherry Pickens are not making money no more across all platforms, man. They're getting all their challenges. They're getting all their bonuses, you know? You know, challenges here and there, you know, you do. Like what? Let's say what? 20 deliveries, you make $100. They're making all those. They're getting priority to all those big kids in the office. Don't ask change your algorithm, man. Now you need like a 50% acceptance rate and up to be able to make your money on Growboard, man. Anything below, forget it. You know, the more orders you accept, the more money you're going to make. And this is across all platforms, man. The last Orders you make, the less money you're gonna make, man. They're making it hard for cherry pickers, man. Our days are numbered, man. Cherry pickers, our days are numbered. It's not looking good for no more, man. We used to make a lot of money before, but now these companies change their algorithms, man. And they don't care how many rejections you do. You're not gonna be making money on their platform, especially Grubhub, man. My acceptance rate is zero percent. But I'm still getting the same low bar office. Seven dollar, eight dollar, nine dollars. The biggest I'm seeing is like twenty-five and stuff, man. They're not gonna stop playing games, man. They're not. They're making it hard for cherry pickers to make money. So you know, the more orders you're gonna accept, the more money you're gonna make, man. And I'm not telling you to go out there and take this crappy office, no tip office. But you know, I don't do nothing below ten dollars, you know. I do those quick mentions. I can do three, four deliveries an hour, you know, $10 a pop, you know, $11 a pop, and I can make 40 42 an hour, 50 an hour, man. Quick, quick, in and out, in and out, you know? Now, ladies and gentlemen, BZ is my witness about the algorithm that I told you guys, ladies and gentlemen, about months ago in several videos. But you don't let prejudice about a content creator blindside you to where you don't want to hear the information that I'm giving to you to help you. To help you. I'm taking my time out of my schedule because I have the love for people. 
I have the love for this community. You see what I'm saying? To give you awareness of what's happening so you can continue to maximize your earnings and make a profit and be able to make them right decisions to do that. Now, since I'm still rocking with Hot Facts with Robert Reese, I'm at the top of the list of being the most hated gig, gig tuber in this community. I'm public enemy numero uno. Let me tell you some people. I'm not going to stop fighting for our rights for the of the community. I'm going to fight for what I believe in that I know is right. So we don't kill our market. So we can continue on making money. That means I'm going to practice my PR relationships with restaurant owners and customers. I'm going to bring value to you about the other side of the marketplace platform. Okay. If you check the videos out and see the videos that I'm talking about, I'm talking about DoorDash multi-app and strategies. They have came up with this innovative concept that they have borrowed from other, other, other gig apps out here. And they turn it into a program and implement it into their app. So you can be able to multi-app on a piece of program from one to three and you run out of piece of uh, orders, you made as much money as you can maximize between them hours. From 10.30 to 12.30, you're, you're on the large order program, being able to maximize on those earnings. Three to five, you're doing your shopping delivery. You're maximizing your earnings during that time on that program. Now, implementing the Top Dasher program, which gives you priority access to better orders. And since it had already explained it to you in a pyramid from the difference between 100%, 90%, 80%, 70%, then your driver Mike got on the platform as well. Broke it all down like a college professor. But since you people hate the DoorDash revolution for taking time out to give the community information on how we can still make money, taking the time to do time stamps and give a lesson for educational purpose, training purpose, and informational purpose only. That's not going to make me stop. Helping the community. I am a community activist. And I'm not going to stop trying to help the community. I'm not going to stop trying to help build the community. We're living in a multicultural world. Wake up and get with the program. Wake up and get with the program with diversity and be able to start communicating and building this communi community with everyone. Because everyone got a right to provide a living for their family. All of this segregated groups among drivers. Deliver That came out with the slogan, drivers by drivers for drivers. Okay. Maybe we need to take a page out of their book and use it in our community. By drivers for drivers. Why are we not supporting one another? Hmm. Okay. Think about that. Then UDM came out and said that you, you know, you have to be a driver to know what a driver going through. Why everybody forgetting that slogan as well? 
We all going through the same thing, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what color you are, no matter if you're rich or poor, no matter what your skill sets and all that is. In this gig life right here, we're going through the same thing. So why are we segregated? Why is it discrimination against each other as drivers? Why is it that I'm telling other drivers don't fool with this man because he believe in doing it by the textbook way of making money? I'm going to have interviews with customers. I'm going to have interviews with restaurant operators already started. I'm going to have interviews with content creators already started that as well. Check out what is the DoorDash revolution. You will see that I give you my mission statement there. Right there. Now I'm letting you know I am a community activist. I'm here to help, help the community until I take my last breath. And I'm going to continue on helping this community. Regardless of what you think. Because somebody going to take, the, get, take this and get some value out of it and say, yeah, he's right. Somebody going to finally look at them videos and say, yeah, he's right. When I come back to the scene. And I'm going to have to probably write an illustration as well. And I wasn't going to do it. But I see it's necessary now. I'm going to write an illustration as well and prove to you that these programs, multiple programs, came from multi-apping concept, borrowed from multi-apping. You add all these programs together and features together. And bring in the Top Dasher program along with it. Not only will you maximize your earnings, you will capitalize on making profits. They done changed the algorithm. They done changed, it's a culture change that took place in the gig economy. Them old misleading content about ranting and raving about problems and that nobody's solving problems. Them days need to be over with. It's time to come up with solutions. It's time to build a community. It's time to start helping drivers. And we need to start growing together. You just saw the example of how I do an interview. I got a few more interviews and more interviews to do. And you're going to understand that this man is here to help the community. Okay. There's jealousy because people didn't think about this their self. Man, how come we didn't think about this? When you're selfish and thinking about just yourself, you don't have the community interest at your best Thoughts uh, from your best desires. Just about you. Well, if I got to do it alone, I will do it alone. To protect others, so they don't have to have to have to go through the battle by uh, go through this battle. I'm built different. I'm going to battle on. Sooner or later, you're going to appreciate. That this man was for the community. He was for everybody. To prune the tree so we can keep on producing fruit. Now you can sit here and multi-app. Make as much multi-apping off of the DoorDash platform. As you can multi-apping off of these other platforms. Do the real comparisons when you're doing this ladies and gentlemen. One week not going get, to get the information that you're looking for. 
I'm still I'm, I'm still doing mine, and it's almost a full full year. And I, I said I was going to do this for a full year. That way, I would have data of each season's changing. Spring, summer, winter, and fall, when each season changes, something changes. I have evaluated all of this, ladies and gentlemen. One week can't do that. Two weeks can't do that. So take out time and study these videos and, and, and pay attention to it. Your driver, Mike, done talked about it. Sin City done talked about it. Hot Facts with Robert Reese done talked about it. BZ is talking about it. UDM is talking about it. I'm talking about it. Somebody need to wake up. Put your pride to the side because it's meaningless on what's really happening. Let's quit segregating into different groups. Let's quit separating drives because okay i'm a cherry picker i'm a multi-app that's a top dash that's a program not a title people it's not a title it's a program i'm a cherry picker i'm a multi-app i was once a top dasher i'm gonna be a top dasher again i want the full complete picture i want to experience the full complete picture so I can give you the full, complete story. Now, don't you want the truth? I'm going to give it to you. Peace, take care. And I hope that you be able to make the right decisions for better opportunities to maximize your earnings and capitalize on your profits peace take care and much love from the door to ash revolution to the community in our world